In order to become a manifester, someone who was able to attract and place into their lives what they place their attention on, there are certain, you know, we saw a lot about something called the secret, not too long ago on all the newspapers and magazines, and on the news and always, and, I was asked to be a part of that and stayed away from it for different reasons because for me, manifesting is not about attracting what you want. Manifesting is an awareness and an understanding that you attract what you are. We do not manifest what we want that comes from a place of missing. We manifest what we are. The angels who will guide you throughout your life will only be there for you when they recognize themselves in you and they cannot recognize themselves in you and guide you when you are filled with hatred, anger, judgment, condemnation, bitterness, fear, anxiety, stress. You have to let all of that go and be loved, be in this place of perfect divine love, love for everything and everyone on our planet. That's self-actualization at work. It takes guts. You've got to dig down deep to get it out. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. Now, what do you do during the hard times? Less. Here's what you must do. Number one is you must have faith. Paul said you must have the faith to call forth those things that be not as though they were. Judge not according to appearances. Don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now. No, 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 no. That's not the real reality there. So you've got to have faith. You talk to yourself. You say that affirmation. The next step is you must have patience and engage in consistent action. Patience and engage in consistent action. See, everything does not always happen, ladies and gentlemen, when we want it to happen. It doesn't happen quickly. So in that process, they have something in the Far East called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree, every day, it has to be watered and fertilized. It's a very hard nut, and it takes five years of watering and fertilization every day, according to American Geographics, before it breaks through the ground. At any time, if the watering process and the nurturing and the fertilization process is stopped, the Chinese bamboo tree will die in the ground. Now, once it breaks through in that fifth year, then in six weeks, it grows 90 feet tall. Now, the question is, does it grow 90 feet in five years or six weeks? The answer is obvious. It takes five years. That's how long it took to grow it, to build that foundation, to nurture it, to water it, to build the reputation, to build the credibility, to learn the market, to learn people, to learn yourself, to learn the system, to learn how to do it, to figure it out. That's why you must have patience and engage in consistent action. But what is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? How is it that you would be able? What reasons that can tap into that deep down feeling that goes to your gut that no matter how many times you get knocked down, that you're coming back? What is it? Write it down. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. During those moments when it's hard, not only must you have patience and engage in consistent action, but you must turn to a power greater than yourself and just say, Lord, whatever I face today, together you, and I can handle it. And I know some way and somehow you'll make a way for me. You'll make a way for me.